This is a farm that we've been running our dry stock, wintering dairy cows, running dairy heifers, and uh, we decided a year ago to convert it to um, a dairy, and we've put a, a D-Level robotic uh, VMS milking system in it, and uh, we're milking about 400 cows this year. Yeah. We wouldn't build another conventional dairy farm, because the cows are different animals. You know, they're, they're just so quiet, um, and that's not saying that they're not very quiet in a conventional system, but they're just totally different. They, they become individuals. You have to absolutely change your focus about what you think should happen on a dairy farm. And we were told early on that uh, it's often the farm is harder to train than the cows, and I'd agree with that. You know, everything we knew about dairy farming, about handling animals, you just forget about. Um, it was learn, learn from the start again. If the people in control are well, have thought the thing through and have planned it, <coughs> this place just happens, you know. Uh, we average two milkings a day from them, but they have three feeds a day on pasture, and that's what drives the whole system, drives them through the yard, and um, you just draft off any cows automatically with the due to be milked. And the milking is now a background operation. Really, it's about organising resources, uh, keeping a monitoring eye on it. We use the cameras a lot to do that. We're starting to put other technology in, sensors, etc., to try and predict what's happening on the farm. Yeah, one of my drivers was, you know, can we get technology in these sorts of forms to actually make very profitable dairy farms? And that's going to take us a year or two to actually work out whether, from a profitability point of view, it's um, been the ultimate decision. It will be as profitable as any of our other farms. And yeah, already I, th I th understand there's different drivers which will make the profitability of this farm. The challenges have been just so interesting. And we're only at the starting gate of that. Um, there's heaps of things we want to do over the next uh, five years that will help drive this farm automatically.